Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I will be showing you one of my favorite pieces of gear, the Line 6 M9. I have all the M series, the M5, the M9 and the M13, um, and I, I, I love it, I, I love it all, and I have it in different situations. In here, I use it in, this is my flight pedal board so whenever I go uh, to play uh, in, in any situations that means I have to travel by plane this is what I take a pedal train uh, junior with this pedals my king of tone the Dover drive the MVO Buddha font the full tone ultimate octave for the octave fuzz and the Roger Mayer Univibe I've also been doing some gigs with my the Buddha Power Blues and Maria João uh, with this pedal board because I use very few effects uh, so I, I mainly use the M the M9 and the King of Tone or the Hudson Electronics Broadcast for drive and that's it so today I will uh, show you how I use the M9 I will show you how it can be used in, in some situations and um, I, I will pass you through some effects and I'll show you how to create effects in it. It's very simple and the, the reason I really like it, it's because it is a pedal-like uh, multi-effects processor. So you don't have menus, you don't have any hide, hide in, hidden features, you just have it all here. So you have it here and the six button and the six knobs you have it um, all the parameters that you can ad adjust on the effects okay so let me take you through my effects you have six different memories and you have six different um, banks so you, you see here BPB which means Buddha Power Blues uh, this is my Buddha Power Blues scene then I have the blues experience scene and then I have the Hendrix scene wh where when we play the Hendrix 
uh, show when we played just Hendrix songs. I have it here. Then he, down here I have my Dona Carioca scene. It's it's not labeled, but I know that it's there. And then these two scenes are free. So I have six times six memories. Okay, and you can only use one of the effect units. So this is effect unit one, effect unit two, effect unit three. So I have um, <clears throat> my, my all my effect units. I have if you, if you want to use um, this one, you cannot use this one because it, it is either this or this. It's easier to see in here. This or this. Okay. So you have like you can have three effects at the same time, but you can only have one effect from each bank. So I usually uh, save settings that I uh, effects that I don't use uh, simultaneously. So here, let's let, let me get you through. So here is my basic always on tape uh, analog delay uh, slapback. So this is my ambient. leave it on usually and I just adjust the 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 mix so I can have it louder when I play just by myself it sounds like it, it is a little louder but once the band comes in it's perfect so here it is the slap back and then I use a not for one specific song where I use the Buddha font as I used in the intro which is Tony my German friend so I use it like this You can have a listen to the to the riff, so I will play it with and without the octave. It's very different. It changes the whole character of the of the riff, and when I go up an octave, it makes it makes up for it. And it is polyphonic, so I can play chords. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, then on the second effect, I have my Leslie, the slow Leslie. And the fast Leslie. And this is amazing in stereo. It's like mind blowing. It makes your sound go completely 3D. Then I have my ambient delay, which is which I use in intros and uh, when I want ambient, like swimming delay reverb.
it's a great delay. And then I have my one repeat slower delay. That I use for getting an ambient, but not very confusing. just creates a space it's not reverb because it dries up really quick but it makes a space and I use it with tap tempo uh, so I can tap it to the song and it is on um, dotted eight okay and this is my Buddha power blues m9 settings with the um, the blues experience it's almost the same but I have my Leslie here and I can change it for a tremolo. Then I have um, a stereo delay here, very long, very echoey for a song called I Lost a Friend. Then I have a uh, auto volume delay, which is for the exact same song. Okay, here I have A reverb. Spring reverb. The great thing about M9 is that it emulates other pedals and other effects. It doesn't create new effects. So I'm very familiar with it. For example, for the slapback I ch I've chosen in this bank, I've chosen a tape echo. So it is brighter. Than the the analog delay that I've chosen and the Buddha Power Blues selection. For here a stereo delay. I have stereo delays because I'm playing stereo rig. On auto volume you have also modulation like an analog man, an analog uh, memory man, uh, analog delay. So if you have a sweep with the volume or with the volume pedal, you would have like. also modulates. Uh, on the tremolo I have an opto tremolo like a Fender tremolo. And I really love this tremolo, it's super beautiful. And the, the Leslie is incredible too.
Okay, for the Hendrix stuff, I have, I don't remember it, but I will see. I have a tape echo, which is a slapback. I love the slapback because it gives me a little ambience. It makes the guitar not be too dry, especially when you are in the band context. so it, it gives you a little ambience. Then I have the reverse for the Hendrix solos. So wh whatever you play, it reverses it. It's funny, <laughs> it makes the reverse solo. Then I have the rotary drum. Kara's rotary drum for the little wing stuff. Is a slow Leslie and I have a one repeat which I always use I always use a slap back in in the rhythm and a one repeat for the solo to give it a little more to occupy a little more space so it is a then This is the um, what I use for for intros for psychedelic intros like Voodoo Child or psychedelic and reverb. So it's basic basically the same thing. Let me show you how to create some settings. You have uh, over here, you have <clears throat> the, this is the, um, so this is the, the, the panel that where you have the, um, where, you, where your effect is being shown. So if I have a blue one here and, and it works like green is uh, delays blue is modulation, a yellow is distortion but it also has EQ and um, and some compression and volume pedal. Filter is, it is like auto uh, it has octave too, and verb is reverb. So the color will change here accordingly to what you have. And it will show the last effect that you use. So if you have a delay turned on in here and you press here, now you're, you're showing this one. If you want to see which are the parameters on this one, you have it here. Okay. So <clears throat> I like, I'll, I really love this vibrato setting. You can run through 
all the effects in here. So all the blue effects, it, you just press this button down and it changed the kind of the typology of effects. So I'm on distortions now, I'm on filters, I'm on reverbs, I'm on delays and back to modulation. So here's the opto tremolo, the fender tremolo. The bias tremolo, which is the fender, the, the vox. And you have all kinds of stuff. Pattern tremolo, which is... Dual phaser. Script phase, which is, which is the phase 90, uh, the, the custom shop. So it's really simple. If I want a reverb after the um, <clears throat> the phaser, for example, I'll create a reverb in here. It's set in octo now, but I'll create a spring reverb for. Um, It's very simple to use. Uh, here, for example, I have a uh, I have set. Um, graphic EQ with a mid push so you can hear how, how it affects the tone this is my clean tone so it al already is making my guitar sound louder so it is a great boost but it, it also change, changes a lot the pedals for example the Buddha font sometimes can be a little shrill, a little bright. Here all it changes. It's a great um, effect. And if I use Phaser. So in this mode, I'm having a reverb, and then before it, I have a delay, and then before it, I have a phaser. So three effects in just one unit. It's super versatile. Um, I, will, I will show you some of my other effects. The I can show you some reverb, some different reverbs. This is the particle verb, which, which makes... If you use it just fully wet, you have uh, a very strange song.
So it's almost infinite. Uh, you have hundreds. I'm, I'm not showing you all the, the, um, the effects in here because they are a lot. And I don't like them all, but I really love some, uh, a lot of them. So for example, if we want to change the script phase, you have uh, the univibe, it's not that good. The flanger is good, it's great. The analog chorus is also really good. I already have a here in, in Dona Carioca, I have it set for a good... Oh, and this is a great effect. The analog chorus. In Dona Carioca, I use it for the funk stuff, as, as Red Hot Chili Peppers a lot of times use it. So it's... It's that funky stuff, like Red Hot Chili Peppers use it on Mellow Ship Slick in B Major, for example. effect. Uh, I use the iron up which is an auto one. which here is too loud so I'm turning the mix down and it's that simple it auto saves so it's saved now if I turn it off it's the same okay uh, I have a, a pattern tremolo which I use for the funky stuff like So it's, it's a really fast tremolo that I turn on and off when I need it, so I can have a brrrr. Then I have the rotary, which I uh, use a lot, the, the Leslie. And a reverb. because I don't always have reverb. And, and this is really good. And you have an, a, another thing that, that is great. You have a tuner, so you can tune your guitar, of course. So you have free space on your pedal board. And then you have a loop, which I use a lot uh, with a lot of functions. So I can have a...
Okay, now I want to record a bass. I will go to my um, Buddha Power Blues scene with, where I have an octave here. Okay, and I'll record a loop on top of this. Yeah, I'm getting carried away again. It's my, it's a classic. I always get carried away. So you have the loop and then the loop, you can have a reverse function. You can also, also have a, a half speed. And you have a play once. So I can have things like And I'm a DJ with a guitar. To press on and off the loop, you need to be, you need to hold on uh, the tap tempo. And it also has tap tempo. It has stereo out, uh, which I use a lot. I'm, I'm using a lot. And it has uh, two uh, pedals, two expression pedal input, so you, you can memorize effects. But the thing I really like about it is, although it is digital, and a lot of people say that digital thing uh, pedals suck, 
I really love it. And it costs the same as a DL4. So for the same price as a DL4, you have an entire collection of effects that you will probably not like all of them, but you will like a lot of them. And if it does five effects that are great, you have five pedals inside of one. And it does a lot more than five effects. I use my delays, my tremolos, my octaves, my um, reverbs, my Leslie, my phaser. It's all in here. Uh, and you can have the, the polyphonic. For example, if you want to transpose a song. So let me go to a preset that I can change freely. Let's do a pitch shift. You have, you have it here. Pitch Glide, it's like um, Digitech Whammy, but the Smart Harmony, you can change the key. You can change it, for example, you change it here, Melody Minor, Whole Scale, Whole D. Does it have Chromatic? No, it doesn't have it. So I will choose Minor because I want, I want to, to tune my E to a fifth down a fifth, so I want to tune my E and drop the guitar by a fifth as if I have a seven string guitar. And then I just do use the mix full up. We have a song in Buddha Power Blues called Gotta Do Something, which has a tape delay. Let me change this for the tape. So I want a tape delay with a slapback. Two echo slapback. This one I want a two and you have it with dry through so it's like your your clean tone is not affected by the tube tape echo or you can you could have it without the dry through through but I, it was sounding too brittle to me a little faster 114 okay it's good and then I have the it's I use the um, I use a drop tuning so it's a baritone guitar. It's tuned in C in B. So if I play and I use the Buddha font for it. With EQ. And now I want to put it in C, in B, sorry, so Yeah, it's not perfect, but I've tried, for example, the Polytune, uh, not the Polytune, the one from Electro Harmonics. Uh, I forgot the name, but the the um, the one that the Pog. Yeah, the Pog, and it it, it changes a lot the tone too. So uh, this works in in very different situations, and then you could have uh, really the your imagination is the limit uh, to it. It's a simple tool to use, and as you as you 
you saw me doing. So let's imagine I want a surf tone. I will I will need a very a great amount of reverb, probably some compression. So let me just set a reverb here, not the particle one, the the sixty three spring. <laughs> Okay, I have a reverb, so let me now have a compressor, for example, so I can have um, a little tighter tone. And this M9 has a great, great compressor, which is the, the tube compressor. Where is it? Tube comp. And this is a great boost to... <laughs> Here, just this tube compressor. It's gainier. It's it has some drive in it. I use it a lot as a as a as a solo boost, and it doesn't sound digital at all. great tool it also has um if you need you have a like um the red comp the M mxr dynacomp <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't allow me to play because it, it compresses a lot. Um, and when you change presets, for example, in the red comp, since the MXR only has two, two knobs, the, um, the volume and the sustain, this only has two, so only these two work. The other, two, the other three doesn't work. So this changes the model. If you press it down, it changes the the typology of effect and these other five knobs change whatever it needs for, for example in the tube echo this one changes the tempo this one changes the feedback this the mix this changes the drive and this the wow and flutter in this uh, in a multi-head this is this changes which head is playing this changes the feedback this changes the mix this changes the other head and this changes the tempo and it's auto saved it's really great i cannot say enough good things about the m9 and i i know uh for the video to be for this episode to be complete it will take me one week to do it so this is just scratching the surface and letting you know some ways um to use the m9 and how i use it this is not a tutorial of course well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the show. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have just surpassed the 3,000 subscribers. I'm blown away. 
I'm really, really glad. I'm hearing a lot of comments, comments from people all around the world and it makes me so happy uh, to know that there are a lot more people uh, benefiting from, from, from the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, and they are joining the family. So bring on some of your friends and join the family. We'll see each other next week. Bye-bye.